boxing truth here. Vasil Lomachenko has bigger fish to fry and doesn't need Guillermo Rigondeaux. Lomachenko doesn't need a Rigondeaux fight. Lomachenko is heading straight to the top. He's already getting much more recognition. Has already climbed the ladder on the pound for pound list, surpassing Guillermo Rigondeaux simply because Rigondeaux doesn't fight, only fights no hopers. And it's been another wasted year for Rigondeaux. Since 2015, he's fought two hand picked opponents, guys that didn't belong in the ring with him. Fought once and had pretty dull performances, especially the one he had on the Canelo Code undercard last year. And those performances pretty much just took away any momentum or, or any excitement people had when, when Rigondeaux was going through his issues and he finally signed with a promoter and got back in the ring. He pretty much ruined all his momentum when he had that trash of a fight against Dreon Francisco. Bored everybody to death. And ever since that fight, he's only fought once. And there's really been no excitement of him fighting anybody. Because Rigondeaux is done. His best days are behind him. What is he now? 30, 36 years old? Perhaps even older? In activity. No longer throws many punches. Still has power, but just doesn't let his hands go. He's a pretty much almost a semi-retired fighter. A part-time fighter. And now he's in the tail of his career and he knows it. Now he's getting desperate. All of a sudden wants a Lomachenko fight. But that ship has sailed. It's over. Rigondeaux blew his chance at a Lomachenko fight. Seeing he, seeing that he had perhaps other options out there. Didn't want to take a tough fight against Loma. Who was a younger, stronger, even better version of Rigondeaux. But Loma's got bigger fish to fry, man. There's other plans in store for Vasil Lomachenko. Lomachenko already exposed you, Rigondeaux. He already told the public why the fight didn't happen. You already Rigondeaux's already been on record on why the fight didn't get made. He asked the reporter, what, what weight do I fight at? The reporter said 122. Then he asked, what weight does Lomachenko fight at? And at the time... The reporter said 126 because that was a fight. That was the weight Lomachenko was fighting at as a featherweight. And Rigondeaux said, "That's the weight I fight at. If I'm a 122 pounder, wanted no parts of Lomachenko. Didn't want to even include a catch weight at the time. Also complained about the money. Wanted a million, about seven figures to himself." When HBO can only put about a certain license fee for that fight, Rigondeaux priced himself out and was just being too difficult with with the terms. And Top Rank moved on. And Bob Arum, ever since he was trying to make that fight, this is when he was actually interested in, in matching Loma against Rigondeaux. At the time, he wanted to see the fight, but ever since... He saw the performance of Rigondeaux following the failed negotiations with Lomachenko. He, his mind has changed altogether because he see how Rigondeaux is performing. And he doesn't want to put Lomachenko in a boring-ass fight that can really zap his momentum in rising the ranks of, of the pound-for-pound pound and also getting the following that's increasing with each day. Lomachenko is getting more and more popular. And to put him in a fight where it's going to be very dull... Or it's just not going to be the most exciting fight. And that's exactly what what this fight will be. I mean, yeah, it's two master boxers. But stylistically, it's just not going to create for a, an entertaining classic type fight. It's, it's going to be a chess match. And it's probably not going to be a very good entertaining one. Especially with the way Rigondeaux has been fighting lately. Not throwing many punches. Very anemic in his offense. There's just nothing going on offensively with Rigondeaux. He's mostly defensive and throws one punch at a time. And after top rank evaluated Rigondeaux's performances, they just said, fuck the hell with this fight. He's boring everybody to death. Why the hell am I going to put Lomachenko in a boring-ass fight 
and have his momentum slow down because of because of Rigondeaux's unwillingness to throw punches and to be willing to entertain the fans. And now all of a sudden, Rigondeaux is calling Lomachenko out, hating on him, feeling a little butthurt that Lomachenko is getting all this recognition, getting a lot of praise, and trying to point out some some race issues behind it. But the fact is, Lomachenko fights nothing like Guillermo Rigondeaux. The two, the both of these guys have totally different styles, and Loma is just a little more entertaining to watch. Rigondeaux is more defensive, Lomachenko is more offensive, and that's the difference. Loma's willing to stay in punching range. He's willing to throw more punches. He's willing to make you miss, but also make you pay. Rigondeaux is a little more too defensive these days. Has power, but doesn't use it. Doesn't want to take his opponents out of this, not willing to take risk in the ring. Just look at his last two fights. Barely throws. Looks like a shot fighter by his standards even. But you know the Lomachenko rigging that fight the ship has sailed. It's over. The fight's never going to happen. And frankly, I don't even care that that is not going to happen. I don't see it as an entertaining fight. Rigging Dow's past his prime. He doesn't I mean, what weight would the fight take place at? Rigondeaux's talking about a catch weight, but what catch weight? What, 124? Why should Lomachenko go down six pounds for you when you're not even the biggest fight on the table? It's another thing. You bring no money to the table. You got no network backing you. Lomachenko and top rank have, have, are the ones that have to put up the offer for your ass for the fight to free for the fight for even for the fight to happen. HBO has to put put up a number and top rank has to offer you the fight. Because you got no network backing you right now. All the networks have ex- exiled you because you're too fucking boring, Rigondeaux. And now you all f- you fucked up now. Can't get fights. Fight once a year. Fight nobodies. Rock Nation can't do shit with you. Top rank are the best at promoting fighters. Building up fighters. Creating stars. And they couldn't do shit with you because, because of your style. That that Abeko fight killed everything. HBO was willing to showcase you, but after that Abeko fight, it ruined everything. They said the hell with Rigondeaux. And Top Rank released you because they're not going to keep you on board if they can't sell you to a premium network. They can't make any money off you if network's not interested in you. So they're not going to keep you around, especially with the type of minimum they was paying your ass at the time. And now you're desperate for a payday. Because there's nothing nothing going on for you right now. You ain't fighting nobody. There's nothing in store for you. There was reports he was supposed to fight a, a, a rated contender, Moises Flores. That went nowhere. And now you're going to go the rest of the year doing nothing. Just one showcase fight. Another wasted year in your career. And it's not going to get any better for you. And Lomachenko, the sky's the limit for him. There's bigger fights out there for him. There's, there's the Francisco Vargas fight. There's, there's the Orlando Salido rematch. That's a big fight. There's Mikey Garcia. There's Jorge Linares. There's also Terrence Crawford, Manny Pacquiao. There's so many options and, and opportunities out there for Lomachenko that he ain't, ain't going to be worried about you, bro. He's too far at the top to see you right now. He's higher on the pound for pound list than you are. Lomachenko has the opportunity to become the next Manny Pacquiao. Perhaps he can get that fight in the future. Or bigger opportunities or other opportunities out there. That can continue to create, to build up his star, his star power, as his following is slowly but surely growing by the day. Lomachenko's got much more bigger fish to fry. He's got bigger fights ahead. And Rigondeaux, you ain't got shit ahead of you, man. You're done. It's over for you. You'll be lucky to even get another big fight, especially with the networks not even backing you. There's, there's some guys you can fight at 22. Uh, Scott Quigg is out there. There's a few other guys out there. The IBF champion Guzman is out there, but you ain't doing shit. Career, career promotions ain't doing shit for you either. You had your shot, rigging down. You should have took it. And if you were confident enough, you would have came away with the seven figures you was 
demanding for that fight had you won that fight against Lomachenko. But now it's over. The ship has sailed. And there's no big fights out there for you. And Loma is just going to forget about you, move on, and can continue to fulfill his legacy. While you, Rigandau, may well be forgotten. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.